In my last centroid video, we found the centroid above the x-axis for this shape. And as you guys requested, in this video, I'm going to walk you through how to find the centroid above the y-axis. Oh yeah, hey guys, my name is Kenza and I've helped hundreds of students just like you study less, learn more, and pass the IFE exam faster. Now, before we start solving this problem, make sure that you guys download the unit cheat sheets for statics. You can find it here. Now, in this unit cheat sheets, I provide all the important unit conversions that you must know before you take your IFE exam. Okay guys, so let's dive in. So to find the centroid about the y-axis for this shape, we're going to apply the same steps as we did when we tried to find the centroid about the x-axis. If you guys haven't watched that video yet, I will leave the link above here. So make sure that you guys check it out. So the first thing we gotta do is go to the reference manual and grab the equation. So here we have the equation for x. So when we try to find the centroid above the x-axis, if you guys remembered, we use this equation. For this problem, we're going to use this equation here because we're trying to find the centroid about the y-axis. So with that information, why don't you guys pause the video and try to attempt the problem? Because remember, for you to feel ready for your FE exam, you got to make sure that you are solving the problems and you are attempting them. So give it a try and I will see you in a little bit. If you guys solved this problem, go ahead and comment below and let us know what did you get as an answer. Okay, so let's apply this equation. So the first thing we're gonna do is take a look at this big rectangle. So we're gonna do the area of the rectangle, which is just B times H. Now B is nine and then H is 14. So we're just gonna do nine times 14. And then we're gonna multiply by YN. So YN is just going to be the centroid of the rectangle, which is just half of the height, half of H and H is 14. So it's going to be 14 over two, which is seven. Now let's take a look at the triangle. So here we're gonna do minus because we have the triangle inside the rectangle. So make sure that you guys remember that. And then we're gonna do the area of the triangle, which is one half times B times H. Now the base here is four and the height is five. And then we're gonna multiply it by YN, which is the centroid of the triangle. Now the centroid of the triangle, is just going to be H over three. So here we're gonna have five over three. Now, the centroid for the triangle and other shapes is actually provided to you guys on the reference manual at the end of statics. So we have these tables, we have different shapes, and then we have the centroid, moment of inertia, and so on. So just remember that you have these tables because you probably will use them during your exam. By the way, guys, if you're enjoying this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. Now, let's take a look at this rectangle here. So we're going to do minus because it's inside the big rectangle. And then we're going to do the area of the rectangle, which is just B times H, which is 4 times 5. And then we're going to multiply by YN. Now, YN, here we got to be careful because this shape or this rectangle is not on the origin. So we got to reference it back to the origin because we're trying to find the centroid of the whole shape, right? So that distance is going to be this. So first we're going to do the centroid of the shape, which is just going to be half of five, right? Half of the height, so h over two. But we're going to have to add this distance here. Now this distance, remember, we're adding it so that we can reference it back to the origin, okay? So we're going to do here five plus two, so that's seven, plus five over two, which is seven, which is 2.5. So we're going to do seven plus 2.5. And now we're going to divide the whole thing by the total area. So first we're going to have the 9 times 14. This is the area of the big rectangle. Then we're going to do minus. Remember, if you guys have minus here, you have to have minus here as well. And so we're going to do the area of the triangle, which is 1 half times 4 times 5, and then minus 4 times 5. Now, if you guys plug in these numbers in your calculator, you're going to get 7.03. And so the answer is going to be B. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. Also, make sure that you guys check out our online courses where we provide the exact material that you need to pass your FE exam. 
Our courses are lifetime access, provide step-by-step -step solutions and relevant concepts and problems that will help you study less, learn more, and pass faster. Now, if you guys want more statics problems, make sure that you guys check out this video right here. And thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great week and I will see you on the next video. A la prochaine. Oh yeah, everybody now.